You're concerned for my sister. Family's family. Hmm. Why are you giving me the chance to protect someone who may have hurt you so badly? I, I'm not trying to stop you. I just want you to consider the consequences. I will consider the consequences, but now that I have proof that Claudia got Michael shot, she has to pay. This has to end. These memories, Michael. You sure about them? What, you mean that Claudia really sit up my bed and tell me that it was her fault that I was in that coma? Yeah. Yeah, the memories are real, and it seems like she visited me all the time because she kept saying it over and over. Okay, yeah, you were in a coma at the time, so I want you to be 100% sure. You sure these memories are accurate? I guess that's just gonna have to be up to my dad. So you're gonna tell him? I mean, how could I not? She put a hit on my dad. We had a good reason to believe that your father was gonna kill me or Claudia or both of us at the time. Yeah, but I really doubt that that's gonna matter to my dad, and... I know it's not gonna matter to Jason. Okay, so I I've been really thinking about what happened in Mexico. Jerry thinks I'm gonna die, so wh why would he lie? Why wouldn't he just tell me that Claudia was guilty? I don't know, probably to make you suffer even more. Unless he was protecting her. Unless they were still working together. I mean, it never really made any sense. How, how does Jerry just happen to find Michael and Christina in Mexico unless Claudia sent Jerry after Michael? Yeah, she did, Jason. She had to. Okay, now why? Why? Because <clears throat> Claudia maybe started to figure out that Michael was remembering some things and mm -hmm. didn't want Michael to come mm -hmm. home? Yeah, Cl Claudia set that psycho loose on a couple of teenagers, including my little sister. I'm done being objective now. She did this. I'm with you, Jason. Let's make her pay. So Claudia never wanted Michael to come home. She called Jerry. Yeah, but, but Claudia could not have known at that point that Christina had ran her off the road, so why would she send Jerry? I mean, for what reason? Uh, no reason. I think Christina would have been collateral damage. Jerry had Christina and Michael locked up in that apartment, Jason. What if I hadn't shown up? You probably saved their lives. All right, fine. We have to stop her. Sonny and Claudia are on their way back from Puerto Rico, right? Well, I've tried Claudia on her cell a couple times. I'm becoming a little concerned. They made an emergency landing to avoid a storm. Thanks, Bernie. Are they all right? Yeah. So you talk to them? No, not yet. Sonny really doesn't want to deal with anything until he gets home. But Claudia's okay. You sound worried. Should I be? You're a little... I had a problem with you. And I know you understand how this business works. So, when Sonny and Claudia get back, whatever happens, it's got nothing to do with you. You had a sister, Jason. Regardless of what she may have done, you would have gone to help her, to protect her. And I'm just saying, if I go to help and protect Claudia, it's not that I'm being disloyal to this organization, it's that she's my sister. I would have given my life for my sister. But there was no way to save her. Claudia a birthday party. What? Yeah. Just spoke with Bernie. Um, Sonny is throwing a birthday party for Claudia Thursday night at the Metro Court. Now, Sonny and Claudia got delayed because of some weather issues, but he already has Bernie calling people and inviting people to the party. Okay, well, then now you call Sonny. You call him and tell him that we have proof that Claudia is the one who put Michael into a coma. Or take a plane to wherever they are and you kill her yourself. 
She didn't care what happened to Michael and Christina. I don't care what happens to her. And you know what? This is probably better for Michael anyway, because you can tell Michael that she fell off of a cliff mm -hmm. or, or anything. It doesn't so, matter. So he isn't taking any calls right now. He'll take this one. I know, but I'd rather him not because he's going to give her a chance to wiggle her way out of it. Or he'll kill her. I just hope she doesn't take Johnny down with her. How could that happen? Well, I just, you know, I just saw him, and look, he's not stupid. He knows that I'm after his sister, and I think he knows that I found the proof to prove that Claudia is guilty. Well, do you think that he was in on it? No. No, Claudia might have said something to him, and I'm sure he kept it quiet to protect his sister, which, you know, I understand. Jason, if I could go to... Puerto Rico, I would kill okay, her Sam, with my bare hands. Okay, Sam, you just need to settle down because you're not going to have to do that. Okay, fine. Then Thursday night it is. It's going to be one hell of a party. Hey, oh. I was worried about you. Well, check your messages. I left too. Have you been on the phone? Yeah, I was. I guess I didn't hear the beeps. Been really busy. What are you doing? Um, your dad is throwing a birthday party for Claudia Thursday night at the Metro Court. Since when? Uh, is he home? Uh, he's on his way. He called from the plane. Um, does Jax know you're working with him? Uh, kind of. Yeah, you know, I have to talk to you about something. Look, even if your dad invites you to this party, I'm sorry, but I, I can't allow you to go. No, if you might as well get some rest because, uh... I just, I don't think that Dad's gonna want to throw a party for Claudia or anything else. Why is that? What if I hadn't tracked Michael and Christina down to that apartment? What would have happened to those kids? Are you ready to talk about what he did to you? Please. Jason, he sold me to a drug dealer. I mean, the guy was plastered and pretty stupid. It wasn't that difficult to knock him out and take his car. <laughs> <laughs> but Chrissy, I know, oh gosh, just, it would have been impossible for her. You know, maybe that was Jerry's original plan, just to kill Michael and sell Christina. Gosh, Claudia is brilliant at playing the victim. I just can't wait until she's actually one herself. Okay, didn't... Hold on. What? Let's, let's just stop. <laughs> didn't we agree that you were going to stay out of it? Didn't you say, oh, I'm going to oh. act like this is a client <laughs> yeah. for some sort of deniability? Well, wait a minute. I think it's a little tiny bit too late for that. I need you to call me as soon as you get this. It's important. I need to see you now. Johnny Sakara. It's an honor. Your father told me so much about you. 